What's going on guys, we've only gone on World Cup late again, so we've got this tuna crunch to start the day off. Let's get this day in the snow and then let's walk to the gym. Alright guys, last little snack before the gym, we've got a little Belgian bun. It's alright though because uh, it's got fruit on it so it must be good for you. Uh, it's just a little bit of a cheat today, we didn't really hit any calories yesterday, it was a really poor day of eating so... Sorry about this uh, camera strap as well. We just arrived in the gym, it's time to have our pre-workout. Never tried this before, Knockout 2.0. Sounds a bit scary, let's have a look at the, the ingredients. Not too bad, a bit low on the caffeine I'd say. Oh no, it's got cayenne pepper extract in it again and black pepper extract. So uh, let's see how this goes. This has actually been sitting in there for four days. So I think someone's forgot the lemons. Just before we get into this video, I want to say thanks a lot for all the comments on my last video. Really, really good. I got some really good feedback, personally as well. Not just on the comment section, but personally towards me. So today is Wednesday and we have got back and biceps. Just had our pre-workout. Pear flavour that was, by the way. Pear attack. Really, really nice. Time to mix up the branch chains and let's get training. And there is a fly on my arm, if you can see that. Tickly piece of shit. What's going on? We are here today with another saucy voiceover. Back on biceps, start of week four. This is a six week plan, remember guys? So two weeks left after this, but we might extend it. We might move on to something else. It's going good though. Start on lap pull down. Get 70 kilograms, four times 10. So I beat last time by another five kg. Then we're moving into bent over rows. 38 kg on this, four times 10. It was hard and I'm trying to keep good form, but... I mean, I could pull the dumbbell even further back, so the back of the dumbbell is going further towards my hip if, you, if you're with me on that one, to get a better contraction in the lats and rhomboids, as I do think it's hitting rear delts a bit more. Okay, moving on to pull-ups. As you can see by my results, I have progressed again. Um, probably not going as low down as I could be here, but I don't know, I'm feeling it well. It's keeping constant tension on my lats. There's Kay speaking to me again in the middle of a set. <laughs> Onto shrugs, 38 kilograms, 4 times 10 is pretty easy. Uh, I don't even know if these are benefiting me lately, but yeah. Alright, here we go. Bicep curls. Last time I did like whatever I did, 24. So we had to try a 26. I think I'll get 4 on each arm and the form isn't the best. I am trying to get a squeeze at the top and come down a little slower. But with me, I do like to keep strong form. So what I did was, whatever I got here, 4 or 6... And then I moved to 24s to finish the set. And then for the second set, let's have a look what we did for the second set. We did 24s again, 1 times 4, and then a rest, and then 24s, 1 times 6. And then we moved down to the last two sets, 22 kilograms, um, with a rest pause, 2 times 10. All right, moving on to the cables. This isn't... Um, the best angle for this exercise, but limited angles to record in this gym. But yeah, I'm trying to get the squeeze at the top and concentrate on the form more. And it was really heavy, to be fair. I moved that up to like, uh, what was it now? It was 26.1 kg. And obviously, the small cables are heavier, so it's harder. All right, as you can see, I've perfected the form on the bicep curls. I'll say that as my elbows probably go a little too far in front. But you know what I mean? The bicep curl form's got much better. Um, 40 kilograms we moved up onto the barbell, which is another 5 kilogram increase. So we did 2 times 10 on 40 with a rest pause. And then 35 kilograms, 2 times 10 is the rest pause and showing my last two reps as I got 8 on the first without the rest. Remember, rest pause only like 15 seconds max. Alright, moving on to the side hammer curls, which is the exercise before the last exercise. So we just got straight 22 kilograms, 4 times 10. The only critique I can pick up on myself here is to concentrate the weight a little bit more on the way down and try and stand a little more forward. As you can see, I'm, I'm sort of to the side. Um, if you look at like the Pursue Fitness thing on my t-shirt, it's sort of veering to the side. So yeah, I am not swinging, but I could be controlling it down more. But I do focus on this exercise mainly to get the squeeze at the top. Alright, last one. 
We did concentration curls, and I do them on the machine. I'm not doing it with a dumbbell. So we've got 32 kilograms, two times 10, and 27 kilograms, two times 10. On this, again, I really go for the squeeze. Maybe working the negatives would be a bit better. And on the last rep, you'll see I slightly have to help myself. But this isn't too bad. You know, it's, it's all progress. Thanks a lot for listening to this voiceover, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. So that's that session done and dusted. The hair's getting even more wild. Definitely need to get a haircut within the next two days. But I need to find a better barber or a new barber or something. Because the one that I was going to before is good, but he doesn't cut it into a style. He cuts it too straight and I told him he still cuts it like that. But he's a nice guy and everything. So if you're watching this, bro, I know how I feel. Anyway, I was just speaking to uh, Kay, who I mentioned in a previous video, who's Muslim and is currently fasting. And... I was trying to get his perspective on how it is, so he said in like a future video he's going to explain, he's going to get some ideas together and he's going to explain how it is training whilst fasted as he's doing Ramadan at the moment. So that will give us a good um, aspect on how he changes his you know, diet and what he eats at certain times when he's allowed to eat to be able to train and come into the gym you know, three, four, five times a week whilst in this month. So hopefully that will um, open your perspective on how it is whilst fasting. When we get back, we're going to eat some lean turkey. I think we're going to go with sweet potatoes again. We love our sweet potatoes. And to be fair, it is my favourite carb. And, you know, there are benefits to helping build muscle whilst having sweet potatoes and brown rice. Oh, very fast carb. Oh, you rebel. All right. So I just wanted to speak about how... You know, people have that stereotype, crossfitters are not doing it in good form and they're just fake bodybuilders and men's physique people are fake bodybuilders and strong men are just fat and all of that. And I just want to go over the point that we're all in the same race, we're all in the same game, whether you do strongman, whether you do bodybuilding, whether you do men's physique, whether you do powerlifting, whether you're an athlete, whether you're a track runner, whether you're a swimmer, we're all doing physical exercise and physical activities to benefit us, whether it's mentally or physically. So remember guys, we're all in the same race and just try and start your journey if you haven't already, but try different things, maybe going to mixed martial arts, maybe try swimming maybe try running it doesn't have to be you know bodybuilding it doesn't have to be picking up weights but don't try not to stereotype people i mean crossfitters pull up form i mean it's not the best let's be honest no, i'm just kidding but that's just banter so that that's different to be like oh crossfitters oh that's not they're not real mates they are extremely fit athletes i know a lot of crossfitters that will outlift bodybuilders so you know what i mean everyone's at different stages and everyone's on different levels just try and keep it all nice and Realize that I need to switch hands because my hands hurt. Just realize that we're all we're all in the same game, and we're all here to benefit ourselves. I'm going over the same points here, but you know what I mean. Just support each other, and we're all a family deep down. Everyone that's banging this physical activity. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Just going to do a spot of shopping, go back home, do the voiceover, render the video, get it up. It's been Greg Luck Fitness. You got a Sainsbury bag.